brought two separate demos to show you today on eFix. We have the E35, which is the newer version uh, that runs off of the lithium battery, and then we have the E25, that is the older version of the two. Uh, runs off of a little bit of a bigger battery. And we'll go over some of the differences between the two uh, specifically here in a second. And then we have Power Assist, which is Twine. So the products that you're looking at is just the wheels. On these two chairs, it's just the wheels, joystick, and battery pack. So we'll start off with eFix. What eFix is, it's a power add-on system. So we can turn any tilt and space chair, any manual chair, whether it's a folding chair, rigid, into a power chair. So if you have someone who has an issue with transporting a power chair, maybe they don't have a way of getting that back and forth to where they're going, and they want more of a lightweight solution but still have that power option, eFix would be a good solution for you. So again, if it's any tilt and space chair or a manual rigid folding chair. Um, with the E35, we have it set up on an NXT, which is a Freedom Designs, which is one of the other seven companies uh, that works in hand with Invocare. So this specific chair is just your, your standard tilt and space chair, and we've added the power add-on feature to it. So the way that it works is we put brackets onto the chair, so you're capable of putting your manual wheels back on, or you're capable of putting the power on as well. Uh, and the way that works, we, we add the wheels, we add the battery pack underneath, and then we mount the joystick. So depending on where you want that joystick mounted, maybe it's an attendant control. We can mount it on the back. We actually have dedicated attendant controls that we can put on it as well. Uh, they're sensor driven, so there would be handles on the back side of the chair. As far as getting the chair to go forward or backwards, you're just pushing on a lever on the bottom of that handle. And to get the chair to turn, it's sensor driven. So you give a little bit of pressure on that handle and the chair turns for you. So as far as the attendant control goes, we can go with our standard joystick or we have our dedicated attendant control that we can add to it. Uh, as far as how the system works, you have a freewheel mode and then you have a latch mode. The latch mode would be your power. The freewheel mode would just be for self-propelling or just pushing around with an attendant. So in order to get into power mode, you latch each hub. Once it's latched, you basically just push the power button. The way that it operates is identical to a power chair. So it's joystick driven. You have programming features that you can go through as well. Your sensitivity, your acceleration, deceleration. The most common features you'd see on a power chair will have on this as well. So from here, it's all driven around just like you would a, a power chair. Now the two different models, the E35, which runs off of a lithium battery, this lithium battery weighs about four and a half pounds. You're gonna get anywhere from 12 to 16 miles on a full range as far as a charge goes. Uh, we do offer an extended range battery, so if you have someone that's using their chair as a vehicle, they're going to the grocery store, they're riding around town in that, we have an extended range battery that's gonna get you closer to 17 to 19 miles on a full charge. So the main difference between the E35 and the E25 is going to be the battery and your joystick. So on the E25 version, you have a sealed lead acid battery underneath. That battery weighs about 13 pounds. So you're just under 10 pounds difference uh, battery weight. Um, so depending on funding, there's two different options. There's the Efex E25, uh, which we have an eco version, which would bring the cost down for funding. Uh, you still have the same options as far as power chair goes. Uh, you can unlatch and latch each wheel, going from a freewheel mode to a power mode. So there, there is one drawback on the E25 when you're in your freewheel mode you do have a little resistance from the motors, as opposed to the E35, which we have a clutch built into the wheel. So there's no resistance from the motors on the E35. So if you have someone that's gonna self-propel quite often, this may be a better fit for you. Uh, but if they're not looking at self-propelling, just strictly power, E25 is gonna be just as good as the E35. Pricing's gonna be a little lower for you. <coughs> 
And we also offer a 12-inch wheel for those big tilt space chairs. So for your Solaras, if you wanted to add power to a Solara, with the E25, we offer a 12-inch wheel. We also offer 22 and 24. Uh, when it comes to the E35, we have a 22 or 24-inch wheel. So if you want that smaller wheel, you do have to go with the E25 version. Uh, as far as distance, it's going to be the same, either battery, whether you have the sealed lead acid or the lithium, 12 to 16 miles on a full range. And again, the way that these work is we just add our brackets, any manual chair, whether it's a folding, a rigid, tilt in space, can be a tie light, can be a quickie, can be an Invicare. There really doesn't have to be a specific frame to put this on. Any questions so far on the defects? Okay. So, would you would you think that like is insurance funding this? Is it the kind of patient that would, was using a manual wheelchair and then maybe have a shoulder injury or like what kind of patients are we? So they are coded. There's E0983 and E0986. One's a power assist code. One's a power add-on code. So there is a coding for the E fix. Um, when it comes to what type of patient, someone who's having issues propelling um, would be a, a good solution. Or if it's just simply the fact that they don't have a mode of transporting a power chair but need power. Uh, so it really depends. Uh, or if it's a heavy tilt and space chair that's gonna be driven by an attendant and the chair is just simply too heavy and they need a power add on for that chair. just about anybody who, who could use power benefit from power. So kind of the same as what a, a power chair would be good for. It's just more portable power with this version. So you can, I, I can push like a, like a 26 inch chair too, like a bariatric chair, you can put that on one of those wheels? So we have 22 and 24 inch wheels. Uh, we don't have a 26 inch I mean like wheel, but we can accommodate up to a 352 pound end user. So for most bariatrics, if it gets any bigger than 350 pounds, unfortunately, that's, that's our limit. Any other questions? The wheel, so we have to have a special wheel to put in the wheelchair, or? So you have to get their, their wheel, right? They have to get their wheel to put yeah, in the wheelchair. Yeah, so the way that it works is we are actually putting our wheel onto the chain. So okay. the wheel consists okay. of the motor, um, and then your power is coming from the battery pack on your Okay. So you definitely do have to swap the wheels out. Um, if you have somebody that's taking the chair apart to put into the trunk of a vehicle, the heaviest component is gonna be the wheel at 17 pounds. So as a total <laughs> system, you're adding 41 pounds to the chair. So if you have a lightweight wheelchair, the power add-on, essentially you could have a, a power chair under 70, 75 pounds. Uh, but basically all we've added to the chair is our bracket and the wiring right here. So we can still put the standard wheels back on, um, but it allows us to put our wheel on as well. Any other questions? So, so the pricing for E35 for retail is about seven thousand seventy-two hundred. Uh, the Eco version full retail is forty-nine ninety-five, just under five thousand. Uh, and that's retail. Uh, is that the chair too? No. Just the power just, add-on. Okay. Yes, sir. Good not question. Just the power, not the wheel. So when when we're looking at the Efex, it's the wheels, the joystick. So they would have to have an existing chair, or if you're ordering a chair for them. This has more power than uh, Both, same power. So you're gonna get about 4.7, five miles an hour, top speed. Preference? Uh, preference, lithium battery. So the diff main difference between the two is the battery. On this one, you have a four and a half pound battery. On this one, you have about a 13 pound battery. The life, about 12 to 16 miles. In this one, the wheels don't give you the 
the resistance. Like right, that. so this one has a, a dedicated clutch built into the wheel. So when you're in a freewheel mode, there's no resistance from the motor, uh, with the motor being in the wheel itself. With the E25, there is a little resistance on the wheel when you're in freewheel mode. Uh, so if you have someone that's self propelling quite a bit, Any other questions? How long does it take for the battery to fully be charged? So from a fully depleted battery, you're about four to six hours. Yeah. yeah. And then charging habits are going to be just like your cell phone. You use your cell phone, at the end of the night you plug it in, and then it's going to charge it and maintain that battery. And as far as how the E35 is charged, it's just a little magnetic connector that plugs into the side of the battery. Your E25, there's a port on the front of that battery that you just plug the charger into. Is there a warranty? Yes, so your warranty would be two years on, on the device itself. And we offer at Alber a $45 upcharge. So say you're ordering a brand new chair with an e-fix on it. If you drop ship that chair to us, we do the complete install and then we ship the chair out to you so that it's ready to be fitted once you're received. So I'm not sure if you guys do a lot of fittings here in the gym, but if you did, that would be a good option for you to have the chair ready um, for the end user when it arrives. Is it cheaper to do, like you're saying, if you're ordering a chair and then ordering this, go, this component to go with it, is it cheaper to do it this way versus actually paying just an hour chair? Yeah, is this is cheaper? No, this is not cheaper. Getting a power chair. The basic power chair would be cheaper but you have the heaviness of the power chair. Right, typically your power chair is gonna weigh at least 250 pounds. And if you add seating features to it, that goes upwards of 350 plus. Um, I know I did an, I did an e-motion wheel, which is this e-motion just upgraded, right? Right. One so time I had, a, I had a spinal cord patient whose shoulder was breaking down. So she already had the manual chair that she was using and she liked it. And so rather than getting her a power chair, she really, right. I, I was recommending a power chair. She said, I don't want that, I don't like the way it looks. But we were able to add the e-motion wheels to and the then she was able to push with less resistance on her shoulder. So it was, it was yeah, still so overall, it was probably more cost, but less cost after the fact, you know. So it definitely depends on what type of power chair. If we're comparing apples to apples, there are no seating functions on this power chair per se. Uh, so your more involved power chair is going to be a little bit more, but depending on what chair you're, you're looking at, the power chair could be a little bit more. Exactly. So with this version, the eFix. I can put it on a folding chair, and essentially we could take a power chair, disassemble it, fold it up, put it in the trunk of a Honda Civic, but still have the features of a true power chair. It gives you more portable. So that the main thing to look at is portable power when you're looking at the um, And then of course for those big Solaras, big Quickie Iris tilt space chairs that mom or dad's pushing around, it's too heavy and they, they're looking for a power add-on make it a little easier on them, that's another good option. Any other questions on eFix? Okay. So this chair here is, well this product is Twion. So Twion is a power assist. So unlike the eFix where it's joystick driven, this is sensor driven at the push rims. So the push rim has a little bit of play in it. So you give a push at the push rim, the motors pick up and assist you in that motion. The way that Twion works, it's just like the eFix where we are adding, we're adding a uh, bracket to the chair and we're adding the wheel to the chair. So you can essentially remove the Twion wheels, put your standard wheels back on, the motor and everything is in the wheel itself. Um, so when you remove the wheels, you remove the Twion. There's no other battery packs or whatnot to remove. Now the way that it works is on either side, you have a power button. 
you turn power on, and from there you just push the chair like you would a regular manual chair. So there's two versions of power assist. We have, for one, the e-motion, which Laura mentioned, and then we have twion. So there is a difference between the two, uh, twion being the newer version of the two. Twion is power assist, all depends on how hard you push. So the harder you push, the more assistance you're going to receive. If you don't quite have the dexterity to grab onto that hand rim and push, we have another option, which would be emotion. So it's another power assist wheel, similar to Twion, but the emotion comes with a remote control that you can program. So Twion's completely depends on how hard you push as opposed to how much assistance you're going to receive. Emotions, we can actually program each wheel independent of each other, uh, as well as we can program two separate modes. So with your emotion, you can essentially have an indoor mode, which would be one, and then an outdoor mode, which would be two. And then we can program each wheel independent. So sensitivity, how much power, how long the power stays on, what the reaction time is when you give it a command. Those are all things that you can program with your emotion. So if you have a user that's stronger on one side as opposed to the other, you can accommodate through programming to get them tracking straight while they're self so the Twion, which is the version that we have today, is 13 pounds per wheel. Just like E-Fix, you're going to get 12 to 16 miles on a full range. Uh, your weight limit is about 250 pounds and can be added to any manual chair, whether it's rigid, folding. You could even have it on a tilted space. So like your PDG fused T-50s um, that you'd like to sell on hell in. really no specific type of chair that these fit on. They fit on just about any chair, and it's just the power assist that we offer. So 13 pounds per wheel. With the Twion, you have two options when ordering as far as speed goes. There's the standard version, which is four miles an hour, and then there's the active version, which is six miles an hour. So faster, slower speeds. Uh, when you get to e-motion, fastest speed you have is about 4.7 miles an hour. Um, so again, power assist can fit just about any chair, 12, 16 miles, and anybody that can self-propel but could use a little bit of assistance, Twion's going to be a good fit for them. Anybody that's having issues self-propelling but we want to keep them in a chair rather than go the power route, keep motion. Any questions on our clouds? All right, so Mike Beta actually set you guys up with a resource center.